Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today for this review I decided to sport on my leather jacket because, you know, although I'm not a bike rider, I really love Tom Hardy's look in this movie. I mean, the way he looks, he really pulls off the biker vibe well. And even though I'm not a biker myself, I do love people who ride bikes, but, you know, I just thought it'd be good support for this movie movie. Now let's get to this review. So The Bike Riders is the newest crime drama film that has just been released starring of course as I mentioned Tom Hardy as well as Austin Butler and Jodie Comer and this is based off a photo journal of the same name that a journalist of course uh, as he followed bike riders and in their culture through the 19... 1960s and 1970s and although this story is actually fictionalized about an actual mo motorcycle group you actually do get to see a journalist as he follows this group around over the years i mean you see a guy as he's taking pictures of motorcycle riders and their bikes and their whole groups and also as well you hear him interviewing some of these bike riders as well as their wives about how they you know live this life and what does it feel like and how did this you know group got created and i mean it's like you're watching him uh create this journal as the story goes on i will say there was a lot more drama in this movie than there was actually crime even though it was a crime drama but there's very little crime here and there in this movie i mean specifically this movie basically follows a love triangle specifically labeled with Austin Butler's character. He is really the main star of this film. He's this hot shot rogue rider. He lives to ride. He loves the motorcycle club. And I mean, this is all he wants to do his whole life. All he wants to do is just ride and represent his club. But then, of course, he meets Jodie Comer's character during one of their, one of their hangouts at a bar. And then he is tied between you know his love for the club as well as his love for her specifically when i say love for the club it's personified with uh, tom hardy's character he's like a he's the leader of this club and he is like a father figure or older brother so i think it's a little bit of both it's really hard to tell i think it's more of the father figure since he's much older and they are very close him and austin butler i mean this movie is really more of a story that is more focused on a journey than an endpoint because when I watched that ending, it really didn't have like a good, uh, I guess you can say a good endpoint like the end of the journey because I mean it felt like when it ended there was just a new part chapter of the journey for these people's lives but I mean it's like this is more focused on the journey of how the club became what it was like when the movie ended. And, I mean, at first, it starts off like a golden age for bikers. I mean, they feel like they're all outcasts. I mean, they just want to, you know, live to ride, talk about motorcycles, and just do whatever they want to do when it comes to riding their bike. I mean, that's just who they are. It's what they want to do with their lives. It's just that's all they care about. But as the club starts to grow and grow and grow more, over the years they start getting newer and younger people into this club and they start seeing it not really as a not their opinions are a lot different from the people in the golden age part of the club and they see it not just only as a club where they get to love to ride but more of a symbol of power to them feeling like being a part of this club is this is what make gives them power it's what gives them a feeling that they're in control and they want to change things up from the way it was supposed to be which doesn't sit well with these other guys so as you watch it like start like falling apart you start seeing like who is really you know the reason why the club went from this to this let me just say our three main characters that i mentioned earlier they were amazing they were great they all played their roles very well jodie comer was great she's like this woman who you know loves austin butler's character and though she is like she's not just some cliche wife telling her husband to you know just quit this motorcycle club i don't want you doing this anymore she is sympathetic to him and serious at the same time because she understands how much this club means to him as well but she knows that it is changing now and it's also dangerous so, I mean, she 
also tells him that maybe he shouldn't be doing this anymore, even though it is important to him. So it's like she understands, but she wants him to be safe at the same time. Then, of course, we have, of course, Tom Hardy's character, who is the president of this club. And I also want to mention a fun fact. He also changed his voice again. I don't know. He's really great at changing his voice with different accents. He's just really good at that. But aside from that, he is a... I liked his character a lot. I mean, even though he's the president of this club, he's more than willing to be fair with everyone. Anyone who wants to, you know, to take his mantle away, he's fair to them. He knows when to be tough at times. And he especially has to get much tougher and much rougher with the club, especially when it starts changing with these younger, more violent um, associates that have joined. But he still knows when to be sympathetic at the same time. And I really liked that character about him. But it also felt like there were times when he was talking and with some of the others, he felt like he knew his end was coming. Like, this golden age of our club is coming to an end and now a new age is coming on and most likely we're not going to be there to see it whether it's good or bad so i mean he like no at times when things are going to go bad whether it's for him or for someone else in the club and then finally we have of course austin butler and of course he rocked the smolder very well i mean he seems to do that in almost every movie but his character probably went through the most character development from what I saw. I mean, he is this emotionally closed-off character who doesn't let anyone, not even Jodie Comer, see like how he feels. But it seems like to him, the only time he ever feels truly free and happy is when he is, of course, riding his bike and being a part of this club. Which, but... I mean, he is also happy with Jodie Comer as well, which is why he's tied between the two. But as we see, you know, like I said, we see the club change over the years. He starts wondering, of course, what happened to this club? You know, why has it become like this? It used to be, you know, us just being who we are, but now it's more about all this stuff and just like asserting our dominance now. So... He starts questioning things about the club, especially with the way Tom Hardy does things now. So you can say he goes through a big change here and there. Also, Norman Reedus makes an appearance in this movie, and I feel like he was supposed to be a shout out to another, to an actual motorcycle rider. Now I know that, you know, this move, this story is technically fictional, a fictionalized version of an actual motorcycle club, but I feel like he was actually supposed to be like. An actual motorcycle rider who was like famous for being part of a famous motorcycle club don't know which one but i just have a good feeling that he was supposed to be one this movie was obviously aimed at one specific group of people and that's people who are into the motorcycle culture now like i said i'm not a bike rider myself but my dad was and also i have a bunch of friends who are into motor motorcycles and riding and they all pretty much say that you know it's not just about you know, riding the bike, you know, feeling the wind in your face, putting your helmet on and just riding the bike. It's more about feeling, about what it feels like when you're riding this, when you're, when you are riding. I mean, the destination of it, it doesn't mean anything. I mean, it's more about the journey there while they're riding, you know, just enjoying the journey to wherever they're going and whatever des their destination is. The destination is not the point. It's the ride that is the point. And that's what really a good thing that it captures here about their journey they have no clue where their end destination is it's the journey to them that really matters and that's what i why i said i felt like this ending kind of like had not really an end point it was like the next part of the journey as the end was the end of the story i mean because this was just the first part of their journey now it's time for the second part also another thing i like about this movie is that it wasn't over dramatic i mean there were some moments where i felt that it was more dramatized there than it was in other parts of the movie but i felt like these characters were well-grounded people they weren't you know thugs just trying to you know start a biker gang because they wanted to be strong powerful and assert their command everywhere they were just guys 
who loved to ride. And that's basically what I felt from them. They were just like these normal people who loved to ride their bikes and were would do anything just so they, they can keep riding. They were, you know, just grounded people, not over dramatic thugs. I mean, that was a good feeling for this movie. Overall, I'm going to give the bike riders a B minus, mainly because this movie is probably specifically directed at those who are into the bike rider culture or are interested in it. But if you are not into the bike rider culture or interested in motorcycles at all, you don't care about that, then this probably is not the movie for you. All right, well, that just about wraps up this review. If you guys have seen the bike riders, please comment here down below what your thoughts were on it. Also, if you like my other videos, please check out here more on my channel. And don't forget to stay epic.